Ginger, I am here with an unboxing of the Retro Pop Boxes 1970s and 1980s. This should be the October boxes. So here is the 70s box. We will open that first. Alright, you open it up and it has the paper and a sticker that says, Can You Dig It? These are some of my favorite boxes because... I'm a nostalgia nerd and you always get a free t-shirt and see look I'm wearing the 80s t-shirt from last month's box <laughs> all right so ooh, it's a black t-shirt we know how I like black t-shirts what does it say oh <laughs> it says round rock Texas chainsaw repair <laughs> that's hilarious look at that that's hilarious so that is clearly Halloween themed so <laughs> that's pretty cool I love that that is pretty funny actually let me find the uh, the card it's down at the very bottom and let's read about it this and these are always exclusive t-shirts so it says Texas Chainsaw Repair exclusive t-shirt When you live in the middle of nowhere, job opportunities are scarce, so why not do what you love? Leatherface's leather faces attention to detail shines through in his work. Don't trust your chainsaw to anyone else. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay. <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> Alright, the next item is... Uh-oh. Wax lips wax lips who remembers getting wax lips when they were a kid I, re I don't ever remember getting wax lips but I remember wax lips let's see hmm no need for Botox and they're edible too pucker up buttercup <laughs> that's pretty funny it's pretty funny because I don't even know what these taste like the next item is this little pin right here and it has a retro pop box fun fact att attached to it trick or treat was all fun and games before the razor blade panic emerged the times reported on more than 20 cases of apple tampering in new jersey the razor blades were found by children eagerly chomping into their apples who then revealed their gruesome discoveries to their parents but let's be honest what kid is biting into apples with abandon on halloween when there's a pile of candy sitting next to them it's foolishness later all the incidents were found to be hoaxes okay so it's a little apple with a razor blade and it says here this is an exclusive apple surprise lapel pin Yay, a delicious apple. What's that that's glittering inside? <laughs> I do remember that. And also there were instances where uh, children were poisoned by candy. The 70s ruined, uh, ruined Halloween for everybody. Alright, the next item is... Clockwork orange bottle opener. It says use this handy Corova bottle opener to sharpen you up and make you ready for a bit of the old ultra violence. It says Corova milk bar. Got milk? And it is a bottle opener and a magnet. So there, there's for the screw off bottles. There's for the ones that you have to pop off. Interesting. <laughs> All right. The next item is a black cat bookmark. There it is right there. And it says... While I don't recommend reading under a black light, 
These fuzzy bookmarks will sure look groovy in your copy of The Exorcist. <laughs> there you go. Maybe it glows in the dark. I don't know. Alright. The next item is or the last item. Well, there's also a, um, it's not listed on here, but there is a Charlie Brown little bouncing ball. It has Charlie Brown with his mask on holding a candied apple. <laughs> but the very last item is some stickers. Rocky Horror Picture Show sticker set. It says, so come up to the lab and see what's on the slab. I see you shiver with anticipation. So it has the names. Janet, Dr. Scott, Janet, Brad, Rocky. There you go. And then it has the famous picture with the lips. So, there you go. And then, also, I just flipped this over, and there is a little cutout. It says, create your own ultra-violent -vi droog. And there it is on that side. You can cut it out, and then it has little brads. So you can put it together and make like a little paper puppet. Let's see if you can see that. See, there's little brads in there. <laughs> All right. So that is everything for the 70s box. Let's move on to... I think the shirt is always my favorite. So uh, my favorite in this one is the shirt. All right, let's move on to the 80s box. Okay. And this one's bigger than the 70s box. So let's open it up and see what we got. And it has the yellow paper and it says to the max. And let's get the card from down at the bottom. They always drop the card in the box before they put the contents in the box. All right, so let's open it up. Maybe. Stickers are being feisty. All right, let's see what t-shirt we got. Oh, I love this. This is so early 80s. This is so late 70s, early 80s. I love this shirt. It's a Camp Crystal Lake shirt. This is the exclusive shirt. So that's what it looks like. And it's this great powder blue color. And all... Uh, it's so so early 80s and it says here who didn't love camp especially if you were a virgin wait who's that guy across the shore let's row over and introduce ourselves oh I love it clearly these are all Halloween themed <laughs> both of these boxes so I love this shirt I love it. It's perfect. The colors and everything are just perfect. All right, the next item I see here is a big item. Big item. I love this too. Oh, look. It's the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. Oh, yes. Ghostbusters Stay Puffed Mug. Gozer couldn't be more pleased in its latest form. True power comes from holding people's hot beverages, especially when you can make them spill it down their fresh, clean shirt. Okay, let's open it up because this picture that's on here shows that it's got writing on the back too. So let's open it up. Oh yeah. 
I love the original Ghostbusters. I haven't seen that remake, but I love the original. So, ah, uh, here's the front of it. The front of it. And then on the back it says, Stay Puffed, Quality Marshmallow. And then on the inside, there's his little face right there. Uh, when he was, was still happy. <laughs> yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> I love it when they send this housewares type of stuff. I love that. All right. Well, I'll just put this back here. That'll be easier. And trying to figure how to put it back into this box. All right. <clears throat> the next item is Now and Laters. Gave us some candy. Gave us some candy. I like Now and Laters. Long lasting chews. And this is an apple. So it says here you knew it was a good house when they threw now and laters into your trick-or-treat pillowcase. Way better than those nasty orange and black mystery chews. That ain't no lie. Now those houses got egged. All right, so I love some now and laters. All right, and this one is actually listed on here. The Peanuts Bouncy Balls. It wasn't listed on the other one, but I guess it was like an extra treat. But this one has um, Snoopy, Snoopy, and Woodstock on it. Love me some Snoopy. It wasn't just Halloween until you watched It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Here's hoping that you have pumpkin carols ready, which reminds me, I need to watch The Great Pumpkin. I went and bought the set of all of the peanuts cartoon holiday cartoons because for a while you couldn't find them on TV and now they've started playing them again but they play them like way before like way before Halloween they may have already played it I don't know anyway the next item is horror stickers and this is an exclusive right here it says oh that is so true. When you saw this sticker on a VHS tape, you knew that your parents would never let you bring it home. Looks like it's time to ride your bike over to your friend's house, whose parents were much cooler, and watch A Nightmare on Elm Street for the 20th time. I do remember this. I would forgotten all about it, but I do, I do remember these stickers. <laughs> Sorry, that was somebody's car alarm. All right, the last item is, uh-oh, Chucky. Look, it's a Chucky lapel pin. See that? And it has a fun fact card on here. It's, Child's Play was released in November of 1988, and dolls were never seen the same way again. The innocence of Cabbage Patch, Cabbage Patch Kids and My Buddy Dolls that served as the inspiration for the good guy doll were quickly forgotten when Chucky hit the screen. With only a production budget of nine million dollars, the production grossed over 44 million, solidifying its place in horror history and our nightmares. Even Chucky's full name, Charles Lee Ray, is derived from the names of notorious killers, Charles Manson, Lee Harvey Oswald, and James Earl Ray. If that's not creepy, I don't know what is. So there he is, wielding his little knife. And it's a, that's a box exclusive. And it says, hi, I'm Chucky, wanna play? Make new friends with this sweet pin and show off its extra stabby action. Does it move? Oh, it moves! The knife moves. Let me open it up. Oh, the knife moves up and down. See? 
the knife moves up and down. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right, so that's everything for the 80s retro pop box. And then they also have another one of those little cutouts that you can do. Um, it says call your own Beetlejuice. And it has the little guy you can cut out and some of the, the little brads to put them together and make your own paper doll. How funny. And again, I love all of these little things. I love the mug. Love the mug. But I think my absolute favorite is the t-shirt. I just, I, oh, why, why am I such a child? I, I love t-shirts. I love vintage t-shirts. And that's what I love about this one in particular. It has this great vintage style to it. Oh, I love it. It's my air conditioner coming on. Sorry. Anyway, so that's everything for this double retro pop box unboxing, 1970s and 1980s box. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I, I have a link down below, and also uh, there was a, probably a card earlier. Uh, my last video was uh, for my first giveaway. I'm giving away 10 CDs. Of music that I've reviewed already on this channel so go on there all you got to do is subscribe and I'm gonna ask you to do that anyway don't forget to subscribe if you haven't so you can come back and sit for a spell and I'll see you in the next one bye